Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this really fun looking, I don't even know, abstract material, has some nice little gold effects on it. Um, as you can see, it's really easy and super simple, but can give a nice little effect. It also relies heavily on displacement, so if you can't handle a lot of geometry, it might be a little bit tricky. But if it's far away in your scene, I'm sure you could get away with just turning it off and relying on bump. As usual, all the project files for this tutorial will be available for download for free on my Gumroad. There's a link in the description, so go follow that. Another thing, I'll be using a template file that you can also get for free on my Gumroad, so make sure to pick that up if you want to follow along. It's not necessary, but it helps get things started. Let's go. So I'm going to jump into that template file right now. And first thing I'm going to do is add in a new material. I'm going to just name this abstract. And we can actually keep this principal BSDF node and duplicate it. So I'm going to be using two. These can both go into a mix shader. And this will just mix them together. Just so that we have an idea of what we're doing, I'm going to make this one a light yellow and this one a quite a saturated yellow. I'm also going to make this second one here metallic and very specular and I'm going to bring the roughness down. It'll look a bit weird now and that's because we need something to control the, uh, the mixing of our two shaders here. So from the factor input here, I'm going to add in a color ramp. And this color ramp will be controlled by a Musgrave texture. Now this Musgrave texture will actually also be driving our displacement. So I'm going to add in a displacement node. And this can just be attached like that. Now whenever I'm adding in the displacement node, I also want to come into my material settings and change my displacement from bump only to displacement and bump. As you can see, that's looked. It looks a little bit funny for now, but let's as we connect our Musgrave texture up, it should fix things. Yeah, it still looks a bit funny. We'll deal with it in a bit. Now, to control the vector of this Musgrave texture, I'm actually going to be using a multiply math node. I'm going to add that in and connect it to our vector. The reason why is I actually want to use a combination of two nodes to drive this Musgrave texture, and the first one is a Voronoi texture. And the second one is a noise texture. So I'm going to add both of those in and we'll just take them one by one. Now, if I just move these over, this for noise texture, if we have a look at it, I'm just going to go into material preview so we don't have that displacement. With this for noise texture here, I'm going to just up the scale to something like 28 so that we can see a few more of the, a uh, few more of the dots. Now to control this a bit more, I'm going to add in a color ramp. And really what I want to do here is just clamp these values on the black, just a, just a really small amount. Just add in a bit more contrast to those, uh, to those Voronoi dots. And so that's it for the Voronoi texture. Next up is the noise texture. So we can actually use the exact same color ramp and I'm going to tweak it just a little bit. Let's have a look at that. And if we plug in our noise texture here, we can see that's done the same thing and added some more contrast. Now, what we actually want to do for this noise texture is I'm going to up the scale to like 10. Detail can stay the same. Roughness can, well, I might just move that up a little bit. Once again, you're not going to notice a huge difference with that roughness slider. And that's our noise texture done. The next step is we want to, uh, we don't want to mix these together. So I'm going to use the multiply node here. If I add one, then add the other. And as you can see, it's uh, it's mixed them quite nicely. So if we have a look at our Musgrave texture now. We get this really cool effect. So once again, without those without those two Voronoi textures, well, we don't get any of that effect. We plug in our Multiply node, we get a really cool looking Musgrave. The scale can stay the same, and everything else can stay how it is. So now let's have a look at our mix shader here. And as you can see, it's not really doing what we want, which is what I'm looking for is having some sort of gold accents around uh, around some of these contours here. And the way we're going to achieve that is by clamping down on this color ramp like this. And as you can see, as I slowly bring that white slider down, we get some more of that gold 
peeking through. So I can actually bring that all the way down. And if I go into rendered mode, well, things look a little bit different. And that's because our displacement node all the way down here is just set to the wrong settings. I'm just going to bring the scale all the way down to like 0 0.05. And that should fix things up quite nicely. And that's looking really good, except I think I want to add a little bit more to this um, to this second principal BSDF node here. So what I'm going to do is add it in some subsurface scattering, and this will make it look a little bit spongy, a little bit uh, fleshy, I guess, the word for it is. So as light hits it, it'll bounce around and diffuse inside it a little bit more, and things can get really cool really quickly. So I'm going to bump this up to 0 0.05. You don't need a lot. And as you can see, that's lightened the texture, but it's also going to introduce a lot of noise. So if you're rendering in cycles, make sure you've got a high enough sample count. Otherwise, you'll get a noisy image. And secondly, I'm going to up the specularity just a little bit and push the roughness up too. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do for the shader here. And well, we're done. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked the outcome. It looks pretty cool. Might add a little bit of abstract flair to your work. Anyway, that's it for this one. As always, all the project files will be available in the link in the description on my Gumroad. Absolutely free. Uh, feel free to leave me a tip. I like money and uh, these videos take a lot of time and effort to make. Anyway, hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one.